So have you ever received a psychic medium reading before? Or should I explain to you how I conduct sessions? Or are you familiar? Oh, I'm familiar. I've had one done before. Okay, great, great. Cause, but you do know that all mediums, I'm not a psychic, I'm a medium. So I just want to, you know, I got to I gotta get those two, um, you know, clear. Some people, you know, come to me. I do have psychic abilities. Yeah, that's true, too. Um, but I'm more so of a medium, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide messages um, from the spirit guide, you know, from the spirit realm to you. Um, do you have a grandmother that passed away, made the transition? Um, yeah, yes, yeah, it was a long time ago, though. Mm-hmm. You know she's still, she's with you, um, and she's always, yeah, she's always with you. How, do you have a lot of family? Oh, okay, because she's like, I'm with everyone. Um, and it's interesting because she's the first person that came to me even before me calling you. That's usually what I do. Usually before calling my clients, I reach out to their spirit guides and their ancestors to see, okay, well, how can I further assist this client? You know, what what are the messages for you to help you along your spiritual journey? And she came to me. And she said, listen, tell her to have, yeah, and tell her to have patience. And she's showing me, like, this wand, you know, like, um, um, let me see what this is. It is, you know, like a clear quartz? Yes. Like a clear quartz wand. Um, so uh -huh. what you want to do is, do you work with crystals or do you have any knowledge of crystals? Yeah, I have knowledge of crystals. Okay, great. Um, so she's showing me this wand and she's showing me it to heal you or to help you um, clear any negative feelings, any negative thoughts, or any people that are not within your highest good or not for you, she's telling me to clear, you know, to wave that wand. And she's also telling me um, dealing with emotions and relationships. What's happening um, with your relationship life or your love life, as people will say? What's the status with that? I'm engaged. Okay. Okay, great. So what you want to do is so that things will go well for you, um, you want to wave that wand just for prosperity. You know what, do you know what um a clear quartz is, the, the, the benefits of clear quartz? Not really. Okay. I've, I've, I've given, people have told me about, you know, I, um, I've been trying to research different crystals and everything, but not really clear quartz. Okay. So, basically, clear quartz is like the father or rather the mother of all crystals. If you put like a, if you put different crystals on like a wand or, or like a, on a, like a, um, a clear quartz wand, it will clear out or it will cleanse all of the other crystals. Anytime you, even if you put, even even if you put clear quartz on like your your laptop or any electronic device, it reverses the low elf waves. So basically, so that you know you won't get affected and good things will come to you. So clear quartz is more so like an enhancer. It enhances rather your psychic ability. It enhances your emotions in a positive way. It's a cleansing crystal. And it removes okay. and it removes all negativity from your past. So it removes. So you know, say for example, some people, you know, I'm feeling like some people may talk bad about you that you don't even know of. If you cleanse yourself or if you wave that wand, it will revert. It will just reverse itself. So that's why I don't know if it's. And again, your your spirit guides will tell me things about you that happened in the past that's currently happening now and that will happen in the near future. So perhaps she's showing me this clear course more so for protection, to protect you from, you know, just 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 gossip or talks or um people that are not for you in a sense. Because again, you can use clear courts for it's it's like a multi it's like a multi uh function crystal. Clear courts is like a multi function crystal. Anytime you uh, how can I say? Anytime you you match up or you you pair clear quartz with any other crystal, it amplifies it. But for you, yeah. But for you, she's showing me like this clear quartz, like you know, just 
you know when you sage your place down you wanna you wanna you wanna use that crystal to bring about like prosperity abundance um good fortune and release of i guess emotions past emotions in a sense um what is your okay. sign what is that what 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 is your sign your sign oh pisces that's where it's at emotions yeah very emotional um and then yeah. too yeah very emotional right and then too i'm feeling like it's more so with your psyche your psychic uh she's showing me like the psychic development and what you could do is you can use for you you can use clear quartz to help you with your psychic development or your spirituality or rather your intuition because sometimes it can get cloggy and another color that's coming up with you is the color yellow and the color yellow was dealing with self-evaluation and never second you never second second guessing yourself in a sense because you know how sometimes people will say or do things to you and you know that what they're saying and doing like oh no something ain't right here or you know i'm not feeling this or whatever or it's something right. in you that's telling you that it's something fishy um and yeah. then you second guess yourself and then when you second guess yourself that's when you know you kick yourself in the butt because it's like damn you know i should have listened to myself so um say that again oh i didn't say anything okay so um the color yellow is definitely coming up with you so you want to even pair up you can even pair up the clear quartz with um the clear quartz with citrine which is a yellow color to help you balance out your emotions, your psychic abilities, um, and also your feelings, and also building a stronger relationship with yourself is what I'm saying. Building a stronger relationship with yourself. Before you were engaged, how long you've been with this guy? Um, about four years. Mm hmm. I've been knowing him for eighteen. Mm hmm. Oh wow. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, then that's the one then. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then that's that's the one, yeah. Then that's definitely the one. If you've known him for that long, that's the one. I always say friendships makes the best relationships. Well, the best intimate relationships. But I don't know, it's something um how was your upbringing with your father? Oh. Um he was, well, he was in the house, but we always bumped heads, always, mm -hmm. up until, I think, when my parents got a divorce, mm -hmm. and that, like, it just, he, it's kind of like he kind of disappeared after that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I don't he's know because... somewhere else. Go ahead. I said, he's somewhere else. We don't really talk to him. Yeah. Because I'm feeling, well, I'm not feeling, but they're telling me about relationships, relationships, you know, feelings, relationships. So I know you are engaged now, but there had to have been past relationships that you've experienced that might have hindered you a little bit or might have touched you or, yeah, touched you a little bit in a way. And then they said, okay, well talk about her father ask her about her father so that's where i'm getting at so it's you know sometimes and even us as pisces because you know i'm a pisces um us as pisces we tend to wear a, a s on our chest like it's all right we got this it doesn't bother me but deep down inside it does hurt you know so it, it does affect us and to the extent that we don't deal with those feelings and those emotions is to the extent that it will continue to boil up and one day we're just gonna we just gonna have a breakdown or we're just gonna cry so or you know whatever however you deal with certain situations but um I'm feeling like your your spirit guides or even your grandmother came through and gave me these suggestions only for you to release these feelings about past relationships that you had, including your father. And I want you to forgive your father, not because he needs forgiveness or he deserves your forgiveness, but to only set you free. 
you know, you gotta set you gotta set yourself free from him not being there or him turning his back on you. And you may feel like, Oh, I don't really care about that, but it's coming up. So deep down inside some type of DNA strand, something inside of your aura field that's coming up. Mhm. Yeah, I've had I've had a lot of messed up relationships when it came to men. Oh. So that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah, but then but but then I'm kind of sort of feeling like the first one started with him. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. The first one started with him. Um. So again, it's a lot of clearing, a lot of letting go. You know, because you want to be divine for your 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 husband here that you're going to get married to. You want to be holistic. You don't want to have, you know, baggages, you know, from past things. Even, like I said, I'm not saying that, you know, you holding it with you, like, you know, holding it every day you're thinking about it. But on a spiritual level, you have not fully cleansed yourself or released the pain from these uh, situations or these relationships because this is what's coming up. You know, um, were you in an abusive relationship, verbal? Yes. Yes, I was. Yeah, they're telling me that too. Because they're saying, listen, verbal abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, spiritual abuse, 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 abuse. Like, so they're, they're, they're talking to me. and they One thing about what's happening now is that your spirit guides are trying to introduce me to who you are. So they're going to tell me everything that happens to you from childhood, from now, and what what will happen in the near future, as I told you before. So, you know, you may not take heed or you may not, like, realize it, but you do have a lot of releasing of relationships that you need to work on, okay? And as a Pisces, you know, we we, we sometimes we hold grudges. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, we sometimes we all, all F that, you know, F him, fuck that, you know, all this type of stuff. So, you know, it, it, and again, when we when we grow into spirituality, it's all about love, you know, resonating on the love vibration, you know, closing out and receiving closure. Now, it's not to say go back and start talking to these other guys, but to get closure within yourself. And the only way that you should would get closure within yourself is to let go, you know, or to do like release affirmation or rather, as your grandmother showed me, um, to work with these different crystals, you know. Um, yeah, I would recommend that you get a take a love bath to just break all ties. Is there another one trying to get back with you? Is there an an ex boyfriend that is that like calls you from time to time. I have a bunch of boyfriends that try to call. <laughs> <laughs> Go Pisces. Go Pisces. Go Pisces. Man, I, I do. I do have um one that calls from time to time to check up on me, but there's one that re- that really tries to get back with me. Yeah. Like he. Yeah, he was the one. He he hurt me so. Yeah, he hurt you. Yeah, you gotta break. You gotta break it off. That's that. You see. Do you see how things is coming up? Yeah. Uh-huh. You um. You gotta break it off. You gotta break that off. Is what they're saying. And I feel like perhaps you can do like you know like um release affirmations like to release him in the light because listen you're starting a new light love life. You know, you're about to get married soon, so you can't be dealing with these 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 knuckleheads, you know, as I call it oh, nickel and yeah. as I call it nickel and dime ass niggas. You can't be dealing <laughs> with these nickel and dime Yeah, you can't be dealing with them. You know, you yeah. you got yourself somebody that you've known for eighteen years that you taken serious now, that loves you, that cares for you, that loves his mother, you know. Um, that's something very, very important. Someone that loves their mother. Um, so moving forward, in order for you to release these people and release the feelings that you had, I would recommend that you take a love bath. Okay. Okay. Um, where are you located? I'm in Dallas, Texas. You, do you know, um... 
where you can go get one, or would you, or are you interested in one? Yes, I think I, there's a place that I go to from time to time, and I know they they can help me with it. Okay, yeah, they can help you with it. Um, I prepare love bath love bath for people too. But if you find if you know somewhere where you can go, that's what you need to. That's what you need to do. Uh, okay. You need to get a love bath to break the spell, is what I'm saying. That's that's the key. Um, taking a love bath to break the spell, break the bondage that you're holding on to. Um, and not to say that you're particularly holding on, but there's some. There's, the doors are still open. People are still calling you. The, the lines of communication is still there. And you're trying to, you know, you're trying to like get get, you know, you're trying to get away from it. But then somebody just keep, you know, they just keep coming back. You know, that's 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 the curse of a Pisces. You know, once you you once you deal with us, you, you, it's no turning back. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you see Erica Badu? You see what she do? It's all over. Uh huh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So yeah, so the relationship aspect is coming up with you. Um, green. Okay, so we dealing with the heart chakra. Um, and that's also dealing with emotions. So it's a lot of release emotions and letting go. Yeah, release affirmation, you know, emotional responses, like being very emotional to people. And what I mean by emotional is like, um, rather caring for the wrong people. Um, and, and two, letting go of hurt and pain. Um, which deals with your feelings, which deals with your emotions. And again, letting go. Letting go, um, releasing, and emotions is very big with you because the, the, the heart chakra is coming up. And I do see, like you said, the guy did break your heart, but you learned from it. So that's the, that's the jewel. He, he might have broke your heart, and it might have not been so pleasant at that particular moment, but now moving forward, you know, the, you, you, you've gained a lot of experience. And that's what I always tell my clients, you know, although people meet by divine appointment, although the appointment may not be so divine because it ended up with a heartbreak or a heart a, a headache or whatnot, but you've learned and you've grown, you know. Oh, yeah. You hearing me? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Did this guy have another baby? Okay, because I see this baby. Oh, oh, he was that kind? He was that kind. Oh, he was that kind. All right, there's different kinds. You know, there's different, mm -hmm. there's, there's different kinds. He was that kind. Okay, I've been through the same thing, beloved. Believe me, and let me tell you, the, my ex guy, he, he calls, tries to reach out to me from time to time, too. Ain't nobody got time for that. And you don't either because you are growing into spirituality and they're saying royalty, royalness, claiming your royalness, claiming your divine being, claiming who you are as a woman. Um, Where's your background? I see a lot of Af African, um, very strong African ethnic, like, powers with you. Um, uh, my, my father is Nigerian. Ooh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Give me a second. Let me. Obatala is coming through. Um, you want to get yourself. You want to do Obatala bath too. Um, are you familiar with Ob? Say that again. Well, I said, what is that? Obatala. He's the Orisha. He's the fa the father of all Orishas. He's like the grandfather of the Orishas. Um, and he's coming for. Purity and protection, but you also want to give me a second coconut bath. You want to do a coconut holy water. Um, let me hear a coconut milk, coconut water, and holy water bath for three days January 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Uh huh. Uh huh. January 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And again, this, this video is recorded. So I'll send you a copy of it, and you know you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to run to try to write this down. But that's gonna be for purity. That's gonna be for.
prosperity that's going to be for healing more so and protection i don't know but this protection um energy is is is, is big with you as well um i don't know your the background but you know people people are jealous for no reason Wow. Mm hmm. Give give me a second. You planning on moving? I'm trying. <laughs> you you gonna you you wanna move to a house or cause I'm seeing a house. Yes, to a house. Yes. You're gonna it's it's I'm seeing it in the near future and it's it got grass. So mowing the lawn, you know, and all of this stuff. That's gonna be good. Um, you know, um, the house is good. Let me see what else they're showing me. Uh, do you like pets or, or anything? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. You're going to have a cat or a dog? What is this? What did you desire to have when you move? A dog, but I have a cat. Oh, you have a cat? That's why I couldn't distinguish between the two. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why I couldn't distinguish between the two. Because I see a cat and a dog. That's why I'm like, which one is it? Which, which one do you desire? <laughs> okay. Well, that will work too. Um, Because I do see that. Again, your, your spirit guides are just showing me things that will happen in the near future. And if you want to have children with your husband, um, there is a possibility because I do see pregnancy. Um. Do you have children now? No. Do you want children? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, then, yeah. It's a possibility that that do happen because I am seeing you pregnant. Are you brown skin or dark skin? Yes. Dark skin. Dark skin. Okay, then that's you. This is you who I'm seeing. Um. Your grandfather here. There's a short man that came is coming to me now. He's in front of me and he wants you to protect yourself and love yourself. What what was your 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 parents involved with? What is your family involved with? What do you mean? Um like any spiritual do they do anything like spiritual practice or um, my father, his family is Catholic, or yeah, well, he's Catholic, so I really don't know too much about that side, because they, they're all in Nigeria, so when they passed away, you know, we were in America, we didn't know anything about them, and then my grandfather on my mom's side, he's a deacon, Baptist church, mm -hmm. so as far as, like, any practices, I have no idea. Okay, I get what you're saying. And again, this may be generations of generations and de generations, but um, you know, but you know how um religious people always say keep God first. You know, the, God is the protector of all things and stuff like that. So that's more so how they are coming to me. But again, I just feel like you know how like um. If your ancestors might have done something, sometimes it tends to, like, fall on your children, like, fall on the children. You know, when they say, like, a bad parent, you know, they it may not go to them, but it may go to their children and stuff. That's kind of how, the way your ancestors are speaking to me, I kind of feel like there was something within the family bloodline or family tree that might have happened. And it's like you always got to be protected at all times because jealousy is real. And let me tell you something. You say you come from a Nigerian background. Yeah. They know. Nigerian. Uh -huh. Sorry, that's my alarm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You hear so, me? So they know about. Yeah, they, they, yeah, we, we, you know, we African. I'm from Congo. My mom, my mom is, my mom's from Haiti. My father's from Congo. 
So I know, you know, and I come from a big family too. Believe me, I know. You know, when you come from a big family like that, there's always talk behind your back. There's always somebody saying something about somebody's daughter or son. There's always somebody, you know, oh, this person think they all that or that person. There's always something in between, you know. But, and that, and let me tell you one thing. That's the most dangerous talk ever because you don't even know that it's happening. You know, sometimes you don't even know. And that's where it gets more powerful. I've got that, that I've got many people revealed that this person was talking bad about me or this person, this person. That's 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 even more dangerous because you don't you have no idea that this is happening, you see. And then now you wonder, oh, why this is, you know, why, 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 why am I not prospering in life? Why is anything not going good in life? Why, why this? Why that? Because people talk about exactly how I feel. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And that's right. And that's the reason why I feel like that's why your, your, both your grandmother and your grandfather but I'm feeling like this grandfather of yours is from your father's side. Um, because yes. he's like a little guy. Um yes. and say that again? I was, I was like, yeah, when you said that he was short, oh. that made sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I do feel like that's from your father's side, but it's all about protection, it's all it's all about, you know, loving yourself, it's all about releasing with you. Um do you have think something that you want to tell me or ask me? Ooh. Is there anything you said that you saw that there was a possibility that I might be pregnant or anything like that? Is there something that you feel like I need to do or is there, you know, in order to for that to happen or... I, I, I'm going to tell you, your spirit guides are showing me that you're going to, your, your spirit guides are showing me pregnancy. Your spirit guides are showing me you being pregnant. Now, it's up to you, rather, if you want to get pregnant. So, it, it's nothing extra for you to do. They're already showing me, they're already showing me that you're going to get pregnant. But you, you are the one to change your reality. You are the one to create your reality. So if that's not what you want, guess what? That vision is gone. Okay. You get what I'm saying? That vision is gone because, again, your spirit guides are like guidance counselors. They show you and they teach you things to help you prosper in life. These is, this is what they're showing me. Listen, she's going to get pregnant. Now, if that's not what you want, guess what? That's not what you're going to have. Um, but that, that's, coming, that's coming sooner than later. Um, for you, and you'll be a very, in this thing, you'll be a very, very great mother, um, very great mother. Have you had oh, an yeah. abortion? No, a miscarriage. Oh, a miscarriage. Yes. A miscarriage, that's okay. Um, were you showing? No, I didn't know that I was even pregnant at that time. Until it until it actually happened. I feel like that baby was a boy. Huh. I'm feeling like that baby was a boy, or you will you will have a boy. But a boy huh. is, is 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 who's gonna choose you to come through into this world. A boy. Did you want a boy or a girl? A boy. Ha! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know. I, I'm feeling it. I, I'm believe me. I'm feeling it. So you know, I'm not joking. So yeah, you know, um, that's gonna come. That's gonna that to the extent that you keep visualizing yourself. You know, visualizing your future is to the extent that it will happen. Just be patient. Continue loving yourself. You have a lot of emotional, I guess, like um, past emotional situations or feelings that you need to get rid of you know you don't right. want to be carrying this this child and still you know battling with your emotions or battling with your past situations or you know having these people come into your life now it's nothing wrong with somebody checking up on you but when it comes to the the conversation 
in terms of, you know, I'm you know you always gonna be my boo, right? And all of that stuff. Right, uh-uh. right. No, that that's past. That's gone. They came into your life and it was and if it was meant for you to be with them, guess what? You would have been with them. But it's not meant for you, therefore you're not with them. What's your your husband's sign, your fiance? He's a cancer. Ooh, he's another water sign. Okay. And they say water signs are very much compatible. Um, very in tune, very intuitive, and he's a he's very he's a protector. He's gonna be very overprotective. And let me tell you something, Cancer is the sign of family. So and Cancer and Scorpio. Scorpio is very family oriented too. But pertaining to your husband, uh, he's very family oriented. Um, he's 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 a Caribbean or American. He's American. Why you got like a Caribbean twist to him? Mm. Well, his well, they're from Louisiana. Ooh, so. okay, all right, they from Louisiana, okay, and they yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, they they call themselves. Uh, Haitians or, or you know Creole down there. Creole. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's why they got that cab. Okay, that's why. Okay. Uh huh. Give me a second. How's his father? Not doing very well. Hmm. Yeah, he's he's sick right now. Mm hmm. But their their relationship is not completely. Good. He's mm-hmm. kind of sort of kind of going through what I'm going through. Mhm, mhm, mhm. Yeah. Let me see what they're saying. Um. They they're telling me. Listen, he gotta be. He had. Yeah, I understand this situation, but he has to be the bigger person, and like just be there for this man. And again, it will only help him to be a better person. You know. Um, although, you know, and again, he's lucky and he's fortunate that his father's still living. Some people, you know, they just, some, some loved ones would just pass away and then your husband gonna be like, damn, I wish I would have said this while he was still alive or I wish this, I wish that. So, um, the time that he's still here, I think he should just be a little easier on him. Um, I know it might hurt, but that's only going to help him to grow. And you have to understand that the both of you came from a background of uh, absence father. So you you guys can help each other grow, you know, in that situation. But why did they tell me, why did they mention the father? Oh, they mentioned the father probably because of emotions and family um, with him. But they saying he loves he loves his mother, but something with his father. But what exactly happened with his father, though? Oh yeah, his father pretty much didn't want any, anything to do with him. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to. Um, pretty much, he didn't really know his father until he was around mid twenties, and it was because of the father's mother pretty much didn't want him to have anything to do with him. Mm, that's kind of situation. Yeah, and that would hurt too. Yeah. You know, that would hurt too. But he, him himself, he's, he's not going to be that type of father. No. You know how sometimes, you know, you know some people say, well, I'm going to give my child this only because I didn't have. That's the kind of father that he's going to be. He's going to be a father that he's going to give to his children. He's going to make sure that he's there for his children only because of his father not being there. But I'm speaking in terms of like that health condition or his 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 life, his quality of life. Um No, it's it's not good mm, at all. He he has cancer right now. That's what I'm that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Give me a second. Ah, you know what they said? They said what? Well, uh, huh? Yeah. They you um. What goes around comes around. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Yeah, that's what they said. So I'm gonna tell you this. 
it may be something karmic um with with the father cuz i knew it was it had to be some type of health issues it had to be some type of health i did, i wouldn't think that you would say cancer i thought you was right. going to say like you know breathing or like weakness or like diabetes which diabetes and cancer is somewhat of the same but i feel like cancer is more more traumatic or harder to deal with um because i see that this his father is weak his father is like you know frail um but i feel i'm gonna tell you from what your spirit guys is telling me is that this is something karmic you know when you do wrong to people it comes back to you yeah you neglect people you don't care about people that loves you and cares for you it comes back to you. I'm telling you, it comes back to you. Um, so that's what's going on. That's what's that's what's going on with uh, the father. It's more it's more of a spiritual lesson for him. It's more of like um, it's something bigger than just him having cancer, beloved. It's, it's something bigger. It's not. It's not just dietary purposes uh uh it's something bigger um okay and it may be too it may be too that you know um karmic debt even from a past life you know he might have did something in the past life when now he's going to he's going to get it you know here right do they see anything with my father cuz i haven't talked to him in like years in, in terms of what? Like, if he's okay, because he doesn't call or to check on us or anything. So, I mean, I'm close to it. I'm getting, trying to build a relationship with his family now. Mm-hmm. And even his family, either they they don't know or they're just not telling me if they've had any contact with him. Yeah, no, they don't know. And they're not, and your spirit guys are not telling me. They don't, they, they don't know. Was he on drugs? They was he used? Did he used to take drugs? I was an alcoholic. Yeah, so that well, that's another. Uh, <laughs> that's a form of uh, pretty much. Yeah, that's a form. Any any addiction is a drug. That's what I. Right. That's what I call it. Rather, it's sex, shopping, shopping like us Pisces, we love to shop. You know, we love we love to spend money. That's a drug. Anything that you're addicted to is a drug. Um, give me a say. The last that you heard from your father was he in a relationship? Like he was involved with someone? Um, not that I know. Of. Not he that. wouldn't tell me. Because I feel like he's okay, um, breathing wise. I don't know about health because again, I'm I only can tell you what they tell me, and they're not really telling me much about him. But your family is really true. They really don't know. Okay. They really don't know. Huh. Is he here or is he back home? He, I, really, I don't know. Last time I heard, he was in Houston, mm. and before, like, he bounces around. So, mm. I would know, even if he had left. Yeah, so he bounces back and forth to Nigeria and here. No, I'm talking about all around the United States, because we have family all over. Oh. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, because that's why I'm like, where is he? Is he here or is he? I don't know where he's at. He he he. I can't catch him. I can't. I'm not, I, I'm not catching him. They're not telling me about him. Okay. Yeah, being honest, they're not telling. But he's not. It's not. If let me tell you something. If it was something wrong with your. If it was something wrong with your father, it would have came up. The same way okay. that it was. If something wrong with this man's father, it came up. If it was something wrong with right. your father, it would have came up. Definitely. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you have other questions? 
Mm-hmm. No, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you're going to live a happy life. You're a very good soul. You're a Pisces. You know, you love people. We love people. We overdo it sometimes, you know, where we, you know, we tend to give too much or care too much or put other people before us. That's just part of life. That's just part of who we are. As you grow into spirituality and as you begin releasing yourself from past situations, you will see, you will begin putting yourself first. You will begin, you know, loving yourself before loving someone else, you know. You you you'll see things. You're still growing. Everyone uh, is on different journeys or different parts, you know, in life. So you know you you're learning. You're growing and you're healing yourself. So I'm not seeing anything bad, um, other than you know the the, the stuff that I already discussed with you. So again, okay. if you wanna, you know. If you want to ask questions, then I can answer your questions. But the main, the main thing was what your spirit guides already revealed to me. Yeah. Oh, I have another question. Mm-hmm. Um, my particular job that I'm at, am I supposed to be there? Because it's like I can't leave for some reason. Like, I'm highly. Uh, I would say skilled, you know, but it's like every time I put in for something, it's like I can't. So I'm just like, I've been here for a while, and I don't understand why, but it's what's keeping me here. What is it that you want to do? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. So, so <laughs> let a me... lot of stuff. <laughs> But it's just like I'm trying to just get away from that place because of I'm just not really happy there. Two things. Let me tell you, let me help you out with this situation. First thing they saying, listen, she's very good with her hands. Uh-huh. So whatever it is that you want to do, want to do, not what you should do, want to do, you should you should look into a skill that you can work with your hands. Um beauty, beauty wise. Um, but you seen how I just asked you what is it that you want to do and you couldn't even answer. Um, that's the reason why you're still there. Because if you speak into the universe and you ask the universe for something, then the universe will answer you back. But if you are not specific or if you don't even know what you want, then how can you move forward if you don't even know where you're going? So I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah, you're gonna be stuck because you don't know where you're going. You don't have no direction. You don't. You don't have that vision of you to move wherever it is that you want to move to. So you first have to have this vision in terms of okay, this is what I want to do with my life, and this is what I'm gonna to work towards doing. Once you begin, and this all is all part of the the healing aspect and the letting go and the release and the self reflection that I've been talking to you about so now when you sat down or rather you pondered numerous of times of okay this is what I want to do moving forward that's what you're going to begin to work on and as a result of you working on what you want to do you will leave the place that you're at now um but I don't I don't see they're not telling me that it's bad they're actually telling me the place that you're at now I see a lot of people a lot of clientele um, you want to keep a bamboo, a bamboo uh plant with you. They're showing me a bamboo plant with you. Um, but they're saying the place where you're at now is giving you and uh, giving you a lot of experience. Um, what right. is it that you do? I work in a work for a blood bank, so I do a lot. I do a lot of blood draws and stuff like that. Oh, working with your yeah. Oh yeah, working with your hands in a sense always. Touching, yeah, but you are getting a lot of experience, as I just uh, said, and I feel like you have to more so sit. It comes to the point where you, it comes to the point in life where it's like, okay, where do I go from now? Who am I and who do I want to be or why did I come back into this life? It comes, it sometimes it happens sooner than later for, for some of us, 
But it comes to the point where you sit down and you self-evaluate yourself. And once you self-evaluate yourself, that will give you more clarity of where you're going or where you, you know, what direction you need to be going to. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? You know, but if you never sat down or you never had that self-evaluation, you're going to be stuck. You're going to stay in the same place at the same time. You know how many times I've had readings with clients and I tell them what to do. Six months later, they're still at the same spot. They still did. And I'm and I and I'm like, listen, I told you to do this six months ago. Six months ago you could have today you could have been somewhere way further. You know, but people don't take the time or we don't take the time for self evaluation. You know, we don't take that time, that meditative time to like sit down, self evaluate ourselves and ask ourselves what is it that we want for ourselves? What is it that I want to do? What is it that I want in life? And whatever it is, whatever it is that you want in life, you gotta go for it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that that yeah, but again, I feel like you you the spiritual the spiritual aspect of who you are um needs to be covered up first. No, work 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 on releasing the past first. Um, it will help right. you out a whole lot, a whole bunch. Okay. Okay. I can do that. So I'm gonna work on. I know you can, Pisces. <laughs> I know you can. Yeah. Oh, uh, definitely. Yeah. Well, good. All right. Okay. So you know, beloved, I thank you. But thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I really do appreciate that. Mhm. Thank you too. Thank you for choosing me, and as I always tell. Um, my first time clients feel free to recommend me to others that okay. you know may benefit from my work. I don't know if you were recommended to me or if you seen me somewhere. I don't know, but thank you for coming, and I'm honored to further assist you. Well, thank you. I know mm-hmm. I saw you on YouTube, oh. and I, I I don't remember which video it was, but I saved it so I could watch it later. And then you posted something, I saw your face. I said, well, let me go back and see this. So I said I subscribed, and I started re- looking at all your videos. And I was like, you know what? Let me call her. Oh, let me, <laughs> let me okay. contact her, please. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm honored, and I'm thankful. And I thank you and bless you. Thank you. Yes. And I would definitely recommend you. <laughs> thank you. Be safe, okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.